Exchange traded funds or better known as ETFs are a great way to invest your money. They not only offer investors diversification and a low risk profile, but they also trade like a stock so they are super easy to invest in. With a few clicks of a mouse, you can quickly build a portfolio of hundreds or thousands of stocks across the planet and across industries. Well, one of the growing trends within the ETF industry is this relatively newer idea of thematic ETFs. Now with a thematic ETF, you invest in themes. So instead of investing in the traditional emerging market ETFs or small cap ETFs or large cap ETFs, you instead invest in concepts and trends like clean technology, clean energy, disruptive innovation, robotics, fintech, and legal cannabis. Over the past couple of years, thematic ETFs have grown dramatically in terms of their popularity. Now, according to Morningstar, a world-class investment research firm, thematic ETFs saw fund inflows of about $38.8 billion in the first half of 2021, and that's compared to $7.8 billion in the first half of 2020. That's substantial growth, but that's just a small part of the equation. Not only have thematic ETFs grown in terms of their fund inflows, but they have also grown in terms of their product offerings. Now, it's estimated by the Wall Street Journal that today there are 191 thematic ETFs available across the market, and that's up from 55 such funds only a few years ago. There's definitely a reason why theme-based investing and theme-based ETFs are growing in popularity. And one of these reasons is because this style of investing really resonates with investors across the world. Now, many of us know that things like clean energy and robotics and artificial intelligence have enormous potential for the future. And with theme-based ETFs, we can invest in these growing industries with huge potential very easily through an ETF that's well diversified, professionally managed, and has low management fees. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five thematic ETFs that you should consider holding for the long term. But before I do, if you could do me a quick favor and hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. I have and will continue to make valuable content like this that is genuinely intended to help you out financially. The first theme on my list is cloud computing and an ETF that you can invest in to get exposure to this growing theme is the First Trust Cloud Computing ETF, ticker symbol SKYY. It's no secret that the pandemic accelerated cloud migration of all types. As more people started working from home, we saw growth in the enterprise cloud application space. And as more people attended school from home, we saw universities and schools of all types rapidly shift to the cloud. And let's not forget about e-commerce because over the course of 2020, more people shopped from home than ever before. And this resulted in retailers across the planet relying more and more on cloud computing than ever before. Look, there's no doubt that the concerns of the pandemic are decreasing as we all get back to a life that resembles normal. But the impact that the pandemic left on society in terms of the way that we work and in the way that we learn and in the way that we shop is here to stay. And Deloitte, a world-class consulting and research firm, is anticipating a 30% compound annual growth rate for the cloud sector through 2025. And if you wanna invest in cloud computing through a well-diversified strategy, First Trust Cloud Computing, ticker symbol SKYY, is an awesome choice. It has a year-to-date return of 11.52%, a one-year return of 42.51%, and a three-year return of 26.51%. The fund has almost $5.8 billion in net assets and has an expense ratio of 0.6%. Now, for those of you not familiar with what a expense ratio is, it's the annualized fee that you pay to invest in this particular ETF. With a 0.6% expense ratio, you'll pay $6 a year for every $1,000 you invest into the fund. SKYY definitely has a large cap focus, and as of July 2nd, 2021, the fund has 65 holdings, with its largest holdings being Microsoft, Amazon, Arista Networks, Alphabet, and Oracle. The second theme on my list is cannabis, 
and an ETF that you can invest in to get exposure to this growing theme is the Amplify Seymour Cannabis ETF, ticker symbol CNBS. Ladies and gentlemen, it's no secret that the cannabis and hemp industries have a really bright future, and that's why it's the second theme you should consider investing in. As of right now, there is some form of legalization in 36 different states, including the District of Columbia. Not to mention the fact that Congress has reintroduced legislation to federally legalize marijuana for recreational and medical use throughout the country. If you follow this channel, you already know that cannabis has been one of my top themes for a while now. And I really think that we are at a tipping point in terms of how we view it and how we use it in this country and across the world. And with this vote of confidence from consumers and governments, I think that investing in cannabis through an ETF, specifically the Amplify Seymour Cannabis ETF, ticker symbol CNBS, is an investment you should definitely consider. CNBS is a $143 million fund with a year-to-date return of 47.95%. Now, 80% of the companies within this fund derive 50% or more of their revenue from the cannabis and hemp ecosystem. The fund has an expense ratio of 0.75% and has a total of 28 holdings. Its top five holdings are Canopy Growth, Afria Inc., Silver Spike Acquisition, Village Farms International, and GW Pharmaceutical. The third theme on my list is infrastructure, and an ETF that you can invest in to get exposure to this growing theme is the Global X US Infrastructure Development ETF, ticker symbol PAVE. Look, Democrats and Republicans tend to disagree on pretty much everything, but if there is one area of consensus, it's infrastructure, and infrastructure got a huge push with President Biden's American Jobs Plan, which aims to create millions of jobs through infrastructure spending. The Global X US Infrastructure Development ETF invests in pretty much every sector of infrastructure there is, including the construction supply chain, raw materials producers, and engineering service providers. PAVE is a $3.69 billion fund, and it has a year-to-date total return of 21.77%, and a one-year total return of 73.86%, which is amazing. Now, if we go to the fund's official website, you'll see that the fund summary states, PAVE seeks to invest in companies that stand to benefit from a potential increase in infrastructure activity in the United States, including those involved in the production of raw materials, heavy equipment, engineering, and construction. On top of that, the fund has a Morningstar rating of five stars and has a total expense ratio of 0.47%. The fund currently holds 99 different companies, with the top five companies being Nucor Corp, Train Technologies, Eaton Corp, Kansas City Southern, and Emerson Electric. One of the great things about ETFs is the amount of diversification you get with one share purchase. Not only do you get exposure to different companies, you also get exposure to a wide array of industries. And as you can see from the PAVE fund fact sheet, investing in this fund will get you exposure to railroads, electrical products, industrial machinery, engineering and construction, steel, as well as a host of other industries. The fourth theme on my list is clean technology, and an ETF that you can invest in to get exposure to this growing theme is the Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF, ticker symbol PBW. Make no doubt about it, clean energy and clean technology are highly debated topics. There are a wide variety of views in terms of how clean energy should be implemented, what clean energy is, and whether you should invest in it for the future. I happen to fall in the camp that believes in clean energy and clean technology, both from a societal point of view and from an investment point of view. And I think investing in the Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF is a great way to position your portfolio for the future. The Invesco Wilder Hill Clean Energy ETF is a fund composed of stocks that are publicly traded in the United States and engage in the business of advancing clean energy and conservation. The fund has net assets of $1.94 billion and an expense ratio of 0.7%. It has a year-to-date return of negative 9.29%, but a one-year return of 131.22%. 
Now, in terms of the fund's sector allocation, industrials make up 41.74% of the fund. Information technology makes up 20.73% of the fund. Consumer discretionary makes up 19.92% of the fund. Materials make up 9.84%. Utilities make up 5.28%. And energy makes up 2.62% of the fund. The fund currently has 67 holdings and its five biggest holdings are FTC Solar, Renee Sola, Shoals Technologies, TPI Composites, and Array Technologies. The fifth theme on my list is artificial intelligence and robotics. And an ETF that you can invest in to get exposure to this growing theme is the ARC Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF, ticker symbol ARKQ. Ladies and gentlemen, there isn't an industry on this planet that isn't going to increasingly use artificial intelligence and robotics. These two technologies will boost productivity, increase efficiencies, and alleviate supply chain issues around the globe. And according to Mordor Intelligence, the market for artificial intelligence and robotics is expected to grow at a compound annual rate of 20% through 2026. And I can't think of a better way to invest in this theme than ARKQ. And if you watch this channel in the past, you know that I'm a huge Kathy Wood fan and this is one of the ETFs that she manages. The fund has net assets of $2.93 billion and an expense ratio of 0.75%. And year to date, the fund has generated 12.32% and a one year total return of 82.07%. Companies within ARKQ are focused on and are expected to substantially benefit from the development of autonomous transportation, robotics and automation, 3D printing, energy storage, and space exploration. Like I mentioned earlier, the fund is actively managed and typically holds between 30 to 50 securities. As of today, the fund's top five holdings are Tesla, JD.com, Trimble, Kratos Defense and Security, and Alphabet Inc. And for those of you that don't know about ARK, they have some really interesting funds and some really interesting research that I'm sure all of you would love to check out. And this isn't the only ETF that ARK offers. They have some other really cool and interesting ETFs that are definitely worth a look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm going to call it a video. I tried to make this video as jam packed with information as possible and made it with the intention of not wasting your time. Again, if you enjoy content like this, please hit that thumbs up button and please hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.